He's the pride of Davis High School, Southern Utah, and he's got the best hair in the mm. NFL. He's James Kowser of the Oakland Raiders, kind enough to join us. Welcome to the KSL Studios. It's good to have you back in Utah for a little while before you get started with another football season. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's exciting. I'm going back to last year at this time. I'm sitting in your living room talking about the, N the NFL draft, and everyone thought you were going to get drafted. You went to the Combine. It didn't happen. So what was that like for you, not hearing your name called and then having to kind of reevaluate what you're doing at that time. What was it like for you? I mean, you said it right. I had to reevaluate. Like, I thought I was getting drafted. I yeah. thought for sure. Everyone I talked we to told did. me, yeah. But for whatever reason, I fell out. It was actually you don't have very much time to, to reflect because even in the late rounds, you're getting calls from teams that are like, hey, we're not drafting you, but if you fall out, come to us. Yeah. And so you really have no time to feel bad for yourself. You have to call. Like, my agent called right away and was like, here's your options. Here's what I think's right. Which one are we pulling the trigger on? And within five minutes, I'd signed with the Raiders. So it's super quick. And after that, it's kind of like, whoa. Like, you had to evaluate, why didn't they want me? Yeah. Why didn't the NFL want me? Like, what's going on? And then you're just left with the option of go prove yourself. So you go to a camp, and there was an injury? Uh, yeah, last preseason game. So take us through that sequence there. Had a pretty good camp, I thought. Yeah. I mean, I really, it wasn't perfect, obviously, but, like, I thought I put my best foot forward. And then I got a, a sack safety against the Seahawks. So I was like, let's go. Made a good tackle on kickoff. Yeah. Very next kickoff, boom, concussion. Oh. Played a series that I don't remember. It was weird watching that on film. <laughs> like, I don't remember doing this. <laughs> yeah, but then they tell me, like, hey, sorry. Like, they felt really bad. They were actually really cool. I always yeah. thought that, like, meeting the GM to get cut was, like, some stone cold, it's business, son. Yeah. No, the GM was like, I'm so sorry. This is terrible. Like, he's like, we're going to help you as much as we can. I'm like, this is not what I expected. Yeah. But I got cut when I got cut because of injury, so that put a three-week ban on me. Mm. So I was cleared after a week, but I had to sit out a whole month. What was that experience like going from undrafted to making the team and having an impact on a team that went to the playoffs? Being an undrafted free agent, like, you feel like the world's against you. Yeah. You feel like, I mean, granted, the Raiders organization is very good about playing the best people. We had a lot of undrafted free agents play this year, but still it kind of feels like it's all against you. And then being able to, to make an impact, get a sack yeah. against the Bills, it's kind of like, all right. I can't do it. What is your message to a lot of these guys out here that are talented but may not get drafted? Shoot, don't get, don't get too low. Yeah. Like when the lows come, try to fight out of them because, I mean, even if you were drafted in the first round, there's, there's pressures. Sixth round, there's pressures. Undrafted, everyone's got pressures. So all you got to worry about is yourself. Like how can you get better? How can you overcome whatever the coaches, the opponents throw at you, like even the world, you know? Yeah. Just, just don't get too down and keep pushing forward because good things will happen. We've had an interesting offseason already. You spent some time in China. You just got back from mm. China. Uh, you had an internship there. Explain what you were doing in China. So all season, the NFL player engagement, it's like they're the people that try to help you pass football. So they were telling me, like, hey, we got all these different things. Like, you got to pick one. And I said, no, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm just going to finish up my master's this semester, and yeah. I'll be good. And they finally... Uh, Annalise, her name, she's really cool. She's like, you're picking something. Wow. And I said, send me to China. <laughs> she's like, what do you mean? I was like, I speak Mandarin Chinese. Like, give me an internship with NFL China. She's like, I don't know what that is. I was like, look up the number, call the director, see what we can do. And they did. What was the experience like? It was fantastic. I'm serious, it, like, time of my life. So I went over thinking I was going to be in an office job, just kind of learning the business. Yeah. No, they had me out and about, like, social media. That's what they wanted me to do, is just to blow up. Social media brought bring attention in and then I got to run a ton of camps got to work with a ton of kids It was just 13 hours a day of just straight fun I mean we worked really hard and the people over there are incredible, but it was fantastic Well, you're on your way to becoming a legend and we know you're a legend down in Cedar City at Southern Utah One of the reasons why you're a legend down there is Streamline One Side Streamline So for our viewers watching right now, can you explain what Streamline One Side is? Uh, yeah, yeah. um a lot of football players are really superstitious, right? But I'm also really weird about hair. Like, beyond this, like, <laughs> <laughs> hair is my thing. So if I cut this, I'll lose my power. Yeah. But in season, for you guys that don't know, um, I, I let this side of my chest hair grow out. Okay. And it's got a perfect line. And I believe that this side is my, my speed rush side. Okay. It's the cleanest. And this is my power side. So it's kind of a half and half. Thing, hey, right? I got a sack in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not arguing. I'm not questioning you at all. It's clearly effective. It's clearly worked for you. But what was the reaction of your Oakland teammates in the locker room when, when they take in they stream just, on one side? They stare and they ask what's wrong with me. <laughs> like, I mean, Imagine that. Like, they don't believe that I've done it for five, six years now. They're just like, 
why are you so weird? <laughs> hey, man, it works for me. Too. I thought maybe that's why you got cut. Because <laughs> I didn't do it? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I actually, I had like a, a crisis of faith for a little okay. bit. I was like, do I do it? I'm a rookie. Like, yeah. I don't need to drop. Nope, I went through with it. And you know what? Just go to the show. It comes back. Hey, you know what? It, it, you're in the NFL. You're having success <laughs> now. So don't question it. You don't question it. James, thanks so much. Awesome. Best of luck. you got so many great things going on. It's great to see you be successful. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Rod, back to you.